Hello again, grade one. We finished a chapter, the matter chapter, and today we're going to start a new chapter, forces and energy. And in today's lesson, we're going to learn how do objects move. We're going to take two new vocabs, motion and speed. Look at this picture. This boy was skating. He's moving from up to down. He's jumping and sliding and skating. When an object is in movement, when an object is moving, we call, we call it motion. And there is a lot of kinds of motion. Motion is movement. When something is in motion, it is moving. Objects can move in many ways. Look at this way of moving. In a straight line. The man is moving in a straight line. How about this way of moving? We call this way of movement zigzag. How about this one? Back and forth. Do you know another kind of moving back and forth? Like when you are on the swing. You go f back and forth, back and forth. This is another kind of movement. We call it round and round. There are more kinds of movement like up and down. Like in a curve line, when something is moving, sometimes it moves very fast and sometimes it moves slowly. If we wanted to measure how fast an object moves, we call it speed. The speed of an object tells us or can measure for us how fast it's going, how fast it's moving. So speed is the measure of how fast something moving. Open with me page 371. How do objects move? Looking at the first wheel, how does it move? What kind of movement does it do? Does it go straight line? Up and down? No, of course not. It moves round and round. The two vocabulary for today are motion and speed. We said motion is movement when an object is moving. And speed is how fast it's moving. How fast. Sometimes it's slow. Sometimes it's fast. We have to measure how fast something is going to know the speed. What do you think this, this object or this rocket? Is it slow or is it fast? Of course it's fast. How about the turtle movement? Slow. Now open the next page. Set things in motion. This is a game that they call it log ride. And the boy and the girl are riding it while the log is climbing up the hill. It goes slowly. But when it, uh, when it zooms down the hill, it goes very fast. So look at the things in motion. Look at the rabbit jumping and the turtle very slow. Motion is movement. When something is in motion, it is moving. Planes fly fast. A turtle walks slowly. Speed is the measure of how fast something moves. There is a question here. Circle two things that move fast. Two things that move fast. I can circle the log ride when it's going down the hill. And also the plane. Put X on two things that move slowly. Slow, like the turtle. Or like the, ro the log ride when it's climbing up. You can do this one by yourselves, do the math, because we already studied together the bar graph. If you answered it when well, I took a picture for it and sent it for me in the email. It's your move. 
Objects can move in many ways. They can move in a straight line, zigzag, back and forth, or round and round. So here we have four pictures of four different types of movement. The first one is straight line. Trace this line and show me the arrowhead. Make it a bigger arrowhead, okay? Straight line. Moving in a zigzag like go and go, go and go. So moving in a zigzag, it's like making an angle between each movement and the second. Like when you are playing in the PE class with Miss, with Miss Ibtisam, you always walk on the zigzag line, right? This kind of movement is back and forth, like when you are on the swing, back and forth, back and forth. So when we want to make an arrow for this movement, we're going to make an arrow with two heads, one going forward and ba one backwards. So back and forth, back and forth. And round and round is like going in a circle. So draw a circle and put one head here, pointing to the right, another head here, pointing to the left, because it's going to keep going around the circle, round and round. Now let's sum it up. Read the label in each box. Draw an arrow to show the kind of mo motion here. Back and forth. Back and forth, we said, like you are going forward and again backward, forward and again backward. So we want to draw an arrow to show this way of motion. You can draw an arrow in a straight line, but put for it two heads, one forward, one backwards, like this. Zigzag. You can draw this shape for to showing a zigzag motion. Round and round. You can draw a circle and make two heads for it. Straight line. It's the easiest one. Now for the last question, look at each pair of objects. Circle, the one that goes fast. Is the bird the fast or the plane? Maybe the bird is fast, but of course it's not faster than the plane. So circle the plane. The bicycle or the race car? Of course the race car, it's the fastest. 